let's find the second derivative of this function. Observe that 2 sin x is multiplying cos x. For multiplying functions, you apply product rule. Next, I will keep cos x constant. Next, I will differentiate 2 sin x. And our answer is 2 cos x. For product functions, we use a plus. Next, I will keep 2 sin x constant. Next, differentiate cos x. And we have minus sin x. Next, when you open up this bracket, you're going to get this. Next, cos x can multiply cos x and sin x can multiply sin x. 2 cos x multiply by cos x will give you 2 cos squared x. Likewise, 2 sin x multiply sin x will give you 2 sin squared x. And this is the first derivative. Next, we are going to find the second derivative of this function. And here, we are going to apply chain rule. Before we apply the second derivative, we are going to rewrite each of these functions. Now, we can apply the second derivative. Next, to find the second derivative, these two at the top will come down to multiply these two. Next, we differentiate cos x and you have minus sin x. Next, we are going to recopy back this cos x. Next, the two at the top will minus one according to the power rule. We are done with this. Next, let's differentiate this by using chain rule. Next, these two at the top will come down and multiply these two. Next, differentiate sin x and we have cos x. Next, recopy back sin x. Next, the 2 at the top will minus 1, according to the power rule. Now, we have obtained the second derivative. Next, we are going to simplify our result. Next, we open up the brackets. Minus 8 sin x cos x becomes our final answer, which is the second derivative. Let's briefly look at advanced level mathematics involving higher order derivatives. In higher level mathematics and applications, we combine first, second, third, fourth, and so on derivatives into one equation. This combination of different higher order derivatives is known as ordinary differential equation. The highest derivative will take the order of the differential equation. For example, the highest order here is 2 and we are going to have second order differential equation. And the highest order here is 4. And we are going to have fourth order differential equation. Of the first degree here means if you put this in bracket, we are going to have the degree just one. If you only put this in bracket, the degree here is one. And here we can say this is the second order ordinary differential equation of the first degree.
subsequently, for ordinary partial differential equation, the D is slightly tilted. And the highest order here is 2. This is second order ordinary differential equation of the third degree. To learn how to solve this higher level mathematics involving first order and second order ordinary differential equations. Check out the link and check out for the playlist on solving first and second order differential equations. This is calculus. In the next video, we are going to consider inverse trigonometric functions. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications in precalculus video topics. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.